Hey, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a Che to Get Ready with me and I'm going to answer some more of your questions, but I'm also going to talk about something in the middle a little bit like at the end of the video. So I'm going to kind of stretch this out a little bit, okay? I am going to do some B-roll. So we'll talk about that. I'm going to talk about B-roll while we're, we're getting ready. I have this new mirror on my table i wish i could show you i have this new makeup mirror on it and it's like oh my god i can see myself because i was using this little thing but it's it's hard you know what i mean so this is like i can see what i look like it's good i'm gonna sh you know what i could do i could show you the box you see my <sighs> that's my mirror it's, an, it's from impressions vanity actually fun nine at marshall's I don't even know if they make this one that I have anymore. It's got like little feet. I was looking at their site and I was like, they don't have one. They're similar, but they don't have one with the little feet. So I just needed a big mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Not like this dinky little mirror. I mean, I need my bit. I need my little mirrors, you know, like this. We need those. But mama needs her other one too. You know what I'm saying? So I recently shared a video, like a chatty get ready with me video. And um, you guys asked, like put some more questions down there whatever so we're gonna we're gonna get into it and um I'm filming a couple things in this video that you're gonna see in another video what I mean by that is that I like to do some b-roll so what b-roll is when I do a video and I'll show like maybe I'm demonstrating putting on a foundation that kind of thing you're gonna see that in another video so I have to I'll be getting up a lot during this video. I'm going to go ahead and put my eye primer on. This one is from Trish McAvoy. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have a mirror in front of me. I cannot tell you how nice it is. I wish I could find one just a little bit smaller because my table is, is cramped. It's not a really big. And if you saw my room, I shared it one time, I feel like a couple years ago. This I'm like basically in a storage room. <laughs> This is a storage room. It looks really nice on camera. Like, oh, it looks like a cute little room. No, it isn't. It's all smoke and mirrors. I have, a, I have a mirror back there. I have a bunch of crap back there, too. What is that? Oh, this is probably... Let me hide that. So that's from my box. Okay, so that's out of sight, out of mind. I have my some makeup there, but then I have my computer because that's where I edit my videos. And then I have a bunch of totes and crap in here. So... Very, very tight. It's the only place I really have to film in my house. I have so many things going on, you guys. I'm like filming all this different stuff, using a different foundation, and um, I, I, I kind of would like to wait until you guys see the video on it before I talk about it. By the way, I did not put my concealer on, which I usually do, but I was doing a video talking about this foundation that I'm wearing that I'm really liking. So you guys are going to have to watch the video. Okay. Somebody was asking me, she said, Cynthia said that I mentioned that I moved, that I live in Florida. Um, did I move from another state, which some of you know about, so I'll go quick over this. Uh, another state, how I met my husband, I kind of talked about that before. Did I attend college? What was my major? If you can go back in time, would you change your major decision? Looking forward to the question question answer okay so we moved from Illinois to Florida in 2018 and it was something that I had wanted to do for a long time <laughs> I wanted to move here for many many years and uh, it took a lot of convincing to make it happen and it took us it took us like it took a lot of planning okay it's not something you wake up one day and go you know what I want to move to Florida. I just, I would just, there was just a lot of reasons to get to leave Illinois. That would be a whole video, okay? Um, but we, we were just ready to leave. Weather was one of the issues for us. Taxes was another issue for us. Their property tax, they're just ridiculous. And so we just were like, we were ready for a change. So it took me several years to downsize and you will see why at the end of this video it took us several years to downsize all of our stuff I had a lot of stuff because I had different taste back there uh, at our old house I, I was like shabby chic and vintage style and just all of that anyways we 
freaking love it here. Best decision that we ever made. Did I go to college? Short, short term college. So I actually went to, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to go into nursing. Um, so I went to, actually went to school to be a CNA, which is one of the hardest jobs, I'm telling you. So I did that. I was a, I was a certified nurse's assistant, and um, that was hard work. And I decided at that point, that is not for me. So something that I always liked, if you hear, my stomach is growling. I don't know why. But something I always liked was hair. I liked styling hair. I just, I have two aunties that are hair stylists. And so that's what I ended up doing. I went to school to do hair. I think maybe when I was going to school to be a CNA, I went to like a community college trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So I don't have a major or anything. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I hated school. I really fucking hated school. Like, like my, when, when it was my high school graduation, I was the first one there. Because I just wanted my diploma and I just wanted to get the hell out of there. Because I freaking hated school. I hated it. I've always hated school. It just was not my thing. Um... So anyway, so that's what I did. I was, I was I went to school for hair, and then I worked as a hair stylist and a nail tech for many years. And then I just learned makeup from working in a salon and going to seminars and classes. That's where I learned it. I never went to school to be a makeup artist or anything like that. And this is something I want to share with you, okay? And I kind of mentioned it in another video. But people get kind of weird about, like, people that do makeup that don't have like a certificate that says I went to, to school for makeup. I'm sure there's more I could have learned if I went to school for makeup, okay? But just because you have a certificate for makeup doesn't mean that you're a great makeup artist. I'm not saying that I am, okay? But that doesn't mean that you have to have some talent. You can go to school to be a photographer. That doesn't mean you're going to be good at it. You can go to school to be a hairstylist. It doesn't mean you're going to be good at it. There were people I worked with that there's no way I would ever let them touch my hair. I'm sorry okay so you have to have some kind of talent too and I hate to say this but I'm gonna be real I'm gonna be real real with you guys okay and I'm not this isn't it sort of is judgmental but I'm gonna explain okay so if I'm going to go to a stylist okay like when I worked in a hair salon my makeup my hair like everything was looking good okay I am advertise I'm advertising my work my when I was a nail tech my nails look good all the time like you don't want to go to some nail tech and their nails look like crap like I was like this is it I'm advertising myself okay so if I go to a hair salon and somebody's like has like they haven't updated their hairdo in a long time or they just their hair doesn't look nice or whatever then I don't want you touching my hair because I just feel like you're you're not I don't know what you're gonna do to my hair I hate to say that but I'm just being honest I remember I had this one girl nice lady the the, the girl that was supposed to do my hair I don't know what happened to her and then this girl this other lady was gonna do my hair and I was like oh my god she looked like she looked like I wore my hair in high school I thought she did my hair I hated it. I hated it because she was doing her hair like her hair. So that's what I'm saying. Like when you connect with someone like a hairstylist, like you like the way they do their hair. You like the way they do their makeup and you're like, okay, so I know what you're going to do to me. It's kind of like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm just being honest. I didn't go to school. That's what I did. I went to beauty school. And I worked as a hairstylist and nail tech for many, many years. It's very, very hard. Um, it's it's hard building up, especially where I worked because it was very transient. People were, it was just an area that people were moving all the time, you know. And um, it's just hard. You have to deal with people that are, expect a freaking miracle. But then there were clients that when they came in, 
it was like a party. It was like, they were so much fun. We would laugh. I would look forward to seeing these people, you know, and some of them were my friends for many years. I met my husband when I was in um, high school. He actually dated my friend. I was like the third wheel on their date for a long time. And they broke up. He wanted to go out with me. He asked me and I was just, I asked her, my friend, I said, I feel weird about that because you guys dated. And she's like, I don't care. So I went out with him and then she told everybody that I stole your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I could go back. Would I change what I did? No. I wouldn't. I really liked doing hair. I have no regrets about that. I think I shared a video one time. And again, this would be a whole video. I've had a lot of jobs in my lifetime. I've had a lot of jobs in my lifetime. I've been a nursing assistant. I worked in fast food, I worked in the office, hair salon, factory, um, drugstore, bank. I've had a lot of jobs in my life. I mean, a lot. I think I averaged about, I think I've had like 25 jobs in my life, 25, 30, I can't remember, in my life. The best job that I've ever had is this. I mean, I love doing here, but I love what I do because this is my job because I'm my own boss. Okay, I'm my own boss. And it all started when I started my blog. So let's talk about that a little bit, okay? I know some of you know this, but this is going to feed into the ending of this video. I started a blog, and it, it goes even with my decor and all that, okay? So I started a blog... I think 10 years ago and it's so funny when I started my blog I, I wanted to start it because I was reading a lot of blogs at that time I want to do that like I love decor I want to share how I decorate my house and and it was great because I connected with so many other women very supportive I don't know how it is now but it was very supportive um, and just other women that were into home decor as well and I thought my house looked amazing. I thought my house was beautiful. And then I put photos of it online and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what my house really looks like? Ooh, seriously. Because I was looking at these homes thinking that's what my house looked like. I was like, no, it doesn't. It just doesn't look like that. So I just did like, I'm like, I want my house to look like the houses I see on, and other blogs. So I painted my whole house. I had the like these walls that were kind of like it the, the name of the paint was called Cookie Crumb. Okay, and the name of the paint was called Cookie Crumb, which was like a golden yellowish color. I feel like it was kind of a big color in 2006. Okay, so that's what I did. I painted my walls that color. And then I hated it. I just hated it. I just felt like my house was just a mush mash of everything. I'm going to use this palette. This is my, I reviewed this. I freaking love this palette. Um, so I decided one day I'm going to paint my whole house white. I even painted my stairs. I had stairs and I painted the, the rails and everything. Like I just went all out. My cabinets were white. I painted my cabinets white. Like everything was white in my house, okay? But that's how I actually started. You know, I started with my blog, Home Decor Style, because I wanted to share that. I've always had a passion of it. When I was a little kid, I used to decorate my bedroom. I remember going to flea markets with my grandma. Like it was always my thing. And my bedroom was like my apartment. That's how I still think of it as. Like it was just my own little space. I would dust my furniture off every week. I would rearrange my furniture, sometimes in my bedroom, because it was like my own space. My niece had convinced me to start a blog, which I am not a writer. My grammar is not. Okay, it's not. <laughs> but I just really wanted to share that. And like I said, I connected with so many women. So there were some things that happened. And I'm going to share it with you guys because I shared this several years ago, but I have so many new subscribers and I'm proud of it. I knew nothing about photography. Nothing. Nothing. I've never taken classes on it. And this, this goes back to when I was talking about you either have a talent or you don't. Okay, 
You can go to photography classes, you can learn that, but if you don't have a talent for it, you don't. I feel like that with YouTube too, you either have it or you don't. And it doesn't matter with the size of the channel, but you can just tell when you're watching someone if they're comfortable on camera or not. You can just tell, okay? I was really, really working on my photography skills when I was on, when I had my blog. And let me just tell you that everything is staged. Everything that you see is staged. Nobody's house looks like that. I would have to take things out of my kitchen and rooms just to make it look perfect. But I would always disclose that to my readers and on Instagram and everything. Like, this is not what, this is what it really looks like kind of a thing. Because it's so hard when you're, when you're watching, when you're looking at an Instagram photo of somebody's house or on their blog you don't want to see a mess and you're not going to be inspired by that but then on the other hand it can be so perfect that you just feel like crap about, the, about yourself i feel like you know what i mean people are like oh my house doesn't look like that you know what i mean nobody says okay it's all fake i was featured one of the things that happened to me is i was featured in some magazines okay and a few of these are actually my own photos one of these a photographer came to my house and took photos staged it we're going to talk about that really quickly one of the magazines that contacted me was somerset um somerset life so they have different magazines and this is what it this is what the covers cover looks like and i was asked to be in this magazine and these and you can go on my blog too my blog has photos of my house you just kind of have to search for it so you can see what my house used to look like okay because it doesn't look like that anymore okay but these are actually my photos and i believe my article i believe i wrote the article too which i'm sure was corrected <laughs> okay but this is what my kitchen looked like and i painted i painted that cabinet which ended up going into a bakery at some point in our old town and it was so cool to see that in there it was like a cupcake place this was a farm table i got at a really cool shop so it's original paint those chairs are original paint but then i painted this bookshelf that i found and then those curtains are actually sheets they're sheets i just found them at a thrift shop and i made curtains out of them by using that iron on webbing stuff and i'm i just turning it in, turned it into curtains um my light fixtures i hung myself you'll see another photo of them i did practically put it all together and stuff so it was fun. I enjoyed having all this. It's just not my style anymore. Okay. There's a story to this. I'm going to run out of... I see my battery's almost out. We're going to get back to that. But I stenciled this on my deck. That was my old deck. And I just kind of staged it for the photo. Um, I think I painted that too. And this was... Um, I actually filmed some videos with this background in my earlier videos. But some of them I've deleted now. This I didn't paint... But this is a peel and stick wallpaper. Peel and stick wallpaper is freaking awesome. You, it's easy to put up and you just peel off. It doesn't even ruin your walls. It's wonderful. And I did this really cool paint treatment on my fireplace. I hung this. It didn't work, but I just put it as a center, like in the, in the ceiling. Um, I put candles in. It was like a candle chandelier kind of a thing. I've got slip covers. Um, this I painted this table and made it look old so freaking cool i actually made it look like wood grain again you'll find that somewhere on my blog but i loved staging all that like i did all of that myself you know i'm just really really proud of it i really am so this was my kitchen in my house and those chandeliers i hung those myself it was not easy but i did i hung them myself and put them together i painted this several times this is the plastic they're actually plastic. You can get them to put as a backsplash, and I made it look like metal. I think at one time we had Wayne's coating, um, like wallpaper or something like that there. I bought all my drawer pulls and knobs and all that at the thrift shop for like $25. I painted all of them. I did this really cool oxidized copper kind of a look on them. And again, I painted all my kitchen cabinets. I added that backsplash myself. It's like, I think it was like a slate product. Um, this was so cool. That was a special paint technique that I did, but I found so many really neat, sorry, I found so many really neat pieces at thrift shops. We, we just lived in the area that 
we had a lot of thrift shops and antique shops and all that kind of stuff. So this right here. So I was contacted by Rachel Ray, okay? And they asked if they could use my photo. I was hesitant about doing that because you, you just have to be careful giving your photos. You knew give somebody permission for your photos, they can do whatever they want with them. My thing was, I'm like, you can use it, but you have to give me credit. You have to, you know, it has a say there on, you know, when you share it on TV, or you have to say it, something that says, this is from whitelacecottage.com. I talked to, I was talking to an assistant. And again, I was really, really nervous about this. And I don't think I had it, I think it was more spoken word. I don't know if I, it was something that was written down. I don't know, because this was like several years ago. I don't even know what this magazine is. I have to get my glasses on. So I agreed to let them do it. It aired. They never gave me credit. And not only did they not give me credit, but Genevieve Gorder acted pretty much like it was her project. You know what I mean? She didn't even say, well, look at this that somebody did. This is from a blog or like nothing. It was just so like, really? So I put that on my my YouTube people, I mean, my TikTok people lost their freaking minds. Some people were like saying like, it's nothing, it's not earth shattering and stencil. People do that. That's not the point of it. The point is that they used my photo, agreed to give me credit on it, and then they didn't. And that stuff happens a lot. And I'm not going to get an attorney and sue. So many people are like, sue, I'm not going to sue. And they know that, that I'm not going to, okay? I'm not going to do that. But really, really changed the way I feel about her. And and I know it was her assistant, but I just feel like if it's your show, you've got to have some control over that. You've got to know. you got to know. Like, you didn't know that that came from some, Did she say she did it? You know what I mean? Whatever. So anyways, I just shared a story. I'm not like mad or anything like that. It's just, it's just something that, it's just a fact. That's what happened. This photo was stolen. And as far as I'm concerned, because I didn't give me any credit on it. And again, it happens a lot. People take content off the blogs. It's ridiculous. So this is from Casa de Sanga. De Sango? I hope I'm saying that right. I believe this is a Italian magazine. I don't know if it's still around, but it was like a Romantic Homes. I don't even know if Romantic Homes is around anymore. I was in Romantic Homes, I think, a couple times. I had a couple little photos and little things said about me and my blog. I don't know where those um, magazines are. I found these and that's what I'm showing you. This is another one that was actually my photos. Like that one was my photos. These are my photos as well. And I'm just really, really proud of it. This is, again, you can see this all on whitelacecottage.com, but that's what my living room used to look like. This was an old, I don't know, some kind of event from a farm or something, I think. I just liked architectural pieces. So like that door, I had a lot of doors in my house that I use as backdrops. I get this old, this old dress form, oops, this old dress form. I got a thrift shop for $25. I mean, I used to find stuff all the time and so ridiculously cheap. The angel wings I got at some shop, I can't remember where I got them, and they were like 25 Like everything I bought all the time was always cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. I used slip covers and I loved roses, as you can see. And again, those are all my photos. This was my crafty room that I had right here. Um, this right here. Somebody gave me that desk and chair, so that was free. And see, again, another door. Somebody actually gave me that. But this was, that was my, like, I called it my creative space. But um, it never looked like that. It didn't stay like that for long. And photos, look, that's why I said. Looks nice in photos. This was that same pink cabinet, and it was white at one time. See? My counters were different here. I was always changing. I love my dining room. Oops. I love my dining room. I loved the table. I painted table and chairs. I painted. This was a really beautiful chandelier, vintage chandelier. And then I found this beautiful big mirror, and it was like a like a just a mantle that I made look old. And I just I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed creating um, painting techniques. Just I just had so much fun creating different painting techniques. It's just not my thing anymore. Don't really have a desire to ever do it again, but I enjoyed it. 
And that was fun, that old scale. I took the doors off of some of my cabinets so you could see some of my stuff. I got an old ice cream bucket. I just loved all that stuff. That was my, that was just my style. And again, you know, your, my style changed. I loved it. It was so much fun. This was my bedroom at one time. We don't have this bed anymore either. I'm mean, pretty much, we got rid of everything before we moved. But um, that in the back of my, this right here, that's just plastic. It's all it is is plastic, but it looked like metal. And then I just heard, uh, just, uh, hung up a curtain there so yeah I was constantly looking for different stuff but that's all staged by me I did all that and then I had photographers come to my house that was really really cool but um they brought stuff in there that wasn't mine so always know that when you see that that I wasn't in any of these photos I kind of wish I would have done that but it just was weird. I guess I should have asked if I could have been in the photos because that would have been cool to have me in the photos, but I just kind of wanted to stay out of their way. I don't know, looking back, I wish I would have been in the photos. But anyways, so this is what my kitchen looked like another time. So this is an old barn door. See, I would get stuff and hang stuff on it. I think this was actually painter's tarp. You know, you get at the um, home goods, or not home goods, or like a home depot or whatever. And I used that same webbing and I made curtains that way because I, I don't sew. And I would just find cute little pieces and I'd get like old fabrics and just, you know, fold them really pretty. And then I had this opening between my kitchen and my family room. So I hung a set of shutters on each side just to kind of frame it. So that's what that shutter is from. I had, oh my God, I had this really cool old chippy like um, beam, okay? I don't know if that's what you call, but this is kind of round. You know what I mean? One day, because I had it leaning in the corner of my dining room, and one day it fell, almost went through the window. I don't know if it was haunted or what. <laughs> the deal was, they always hear about stuff that has, uh, like, part of the past is attached to stuff. I don't know if that's true, but I don't know how it could have been leaning on the wall and falling the next one. I was the only one in the house, so I don't know. Here's some more pictures of my house, but again, say so I didn't stage any of that. That was all photographers doing all that. And then I painted that chalkboard wall in my kitchen. The light fixture, that was before I had the really pretty crystal ones. That one I got at a um, thrift shop. And yeah, see how different my kitchen looked. I used to decorate up there. I had a ladder. That's another thing I did is I put this ladder here it is, the ladder in between those two cabinets just kind of join it together. I just found a ladder that would fit perfectly in there. And it was kind of neat because I can hang, uh, one time I don't think I have it there, but I did have like this little um, scale, hanging scale from it. But see that red, the red, that's not mine. They brought those, they brought the flowers there. So they brought their own pillows and some other things just for a pop of color because I had a lot of white in my house whenever I said I painted everything white. So, um, thrift shop, they brought the, the, that none of that was mine. This was an old screen, like from a screen door or something like that. But I would just kind of, I don't know, I just, I really had an eye for it, you know? Very, very shabby chicy. If you saw my house now, you'd be like, e, are you the same person? Because my house is nothing like this. But again, those, those none of those pillows are mine. They brought all those to stage. Oh, and this is, this was just a piece of wood. Okay, just a scrap piece of wood. And you can't see it in the photo, but I, I painted, I should have made it darker, or did something light, but I painted something in French. I can't remember what I painted on it, but it was really cool because it kind of made it look like it was an old sign and I just painted it. And again, it's my bedroom. Looks a little bit different. This was an old gate that I found. And there's that same creative space looking a little bit different. I found an old locker. I found so many cool things. I mean, if you, you're into vintage style, you would, you would have loved my house. I mean, it was amazing. So I just want to share that with you guys because I'm really, really proud of that. I mean, it's just something I used to do, something that I really enjoyed. I think a lot of you guys probably didn't know that about me. But 
it's not something I ever want to do again. I'm just, it's just not me. My house right now is very beachy, modernish. I don't have stuff all over my walls anymore. I don't have decor stuff. My thing is, if it's decorative, it has to be functional too. I just don't like it anymore. I still have an appreciation for vintagey stuff, but I don't know. I don't even like to put a Christmas tree up anymore. I don't like to decorate because I just feel like. I almost gives me anxiety. I don't know. I just don't like a lot of stuff in my house, so I've totally changed. But um, any, so you can check it out anytime you want to. Whitelistcottage.com. You can go there. You have to search. You might have to look for home decor or whatever. You'll find um, my house on there. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye. Um. Yeah. Let me do it again. Okay, there you are, you little bitch. Do you ever curse at your stuff? Like, do you have a mental puzzle moments and you get pissed off and you're like, you bitch. do you do that? Let me know if God's good. I do. <laughs> Things tick me off, like, whatever. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I love filming days. I get to hang out with you.